Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. Um, I've gone ahead and moved back to the main room here, and that is because as I was getting sick of being lost in Castle Wayrest, I discovered that, um, well, I was on the wrong track. So I looked up a walkthrough and uh, figured that I have to go through this door right here. Now, if I go through this door, immediately all these guys in here are going to attack me. So, uh, I need to be prepared to get owned. Alright, that was done really quickly. But what I need to do is get myself uh, healed up real quick. And in order to do that, I need to A, get regeneration up, and B, start healing myself. Now that person over there is a mage. She's going to try and paralyze me almost immediately. So uh, I need to be prepared for that. Oh look, I absorbed this. Whoa, I almost died. I absorbed some spells. Wow, see, she was the one I had to really worry about, that Battle Mage. Alright, I've also dropped by and uh, dropped off a bunch of stuff in my uh, wagon, so... There is that. Let's see if these guys have any uh, upgrades for me. Nope, no upgrades. Oh look, what's this? Oh yeah. It's just pure gold. Those things are actually more valuable than an equivalent group of gold. Uh, the Observant will also note I've switched to the Ebony Saber, just for the two-hit bonus. So I guess I'm supposed to go west here, and then up through here, and then through a teleporter. Up and around, and then through a teleporter. I better save first, because that battle was rough. I always figure if I spend more than an hour or two in a dungeon and it's a main quest dungeon, I may well as well look through the uh, through look through the walkthrough because that obviously means I'm on the wrong track. I don't mind wandering if it's a ran. I, it's like I feel less bad about wandering through a random dungeon than I do about uh, wandering through one that's uh, you know mandatory. More gold. The only thing you can't keep on your wagon is lots of gold for some reason. You should find a red teleporter in here somewhere. Yeah, I saw the teleporter, but I'm going to kill this guy first. More gold. Uh, anything else? Alright. Well, I see the teleporter. Let's go to it. You actually have to go through it, don't I? Well, this is the place, according to the walkthrough. Oh, there we go. Oh, so you have to walk against them for some time. That's why I've been able to teleport with all of those... Okay, finally, however many episodes this is into the game, I discovered that I've been misusing the teleporters. Good book. Books are always good. I need to sit down and read through some of these sometimes. Alright, let's see... Alright, I'm supposed to go through another teleporter. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, uh, there's a switch on the wall. Uh, that's only kind of semi there. It's like Schrodinger's switch. Oh, I'm just supposed to take this teleporter. I don't even have to hit the switch. 
Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, more enemies. Well, it's a steel pauldron. I don't need, I don't need steel, though. I need a uh, better than steel. Okay. Okay, in the torture room, leave through the south doorway and follow the corridor west. Ah! God damn it. These rogues sneaking up on me. Oh look, magic, uh, magic armbands. Alright, and then go south. Come on, go down. And then it is west past an intersection, which seems to be filled with skeletons. Down the stairs, and oh shit. Wow, almost got owned. Come on, kill this mage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Follow the hallway further past a secret door and then... Was it? Go up the stairs? I'm going down the stairs. Ah! I need to get my regeneration back up, too. See, I go this way and then supposedly up the stairs. So maybe there's upstairs here. Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Ah, is that a ghost? Yeah, it's a ghost. It's a wraith. I didn't see it. I was just kind of swinging it air and hoping I hit the right thing. Alright. Go through the door at the end of the hallway to reach the sewers. Ah, uh, Fuck sewer levels. I hate sewer levels. I'm gonna save the game before I go in there. Alright, once in the sewers. Uh, take a right. Oh crap, don't fall in. Kind of go along this north wall here. I may have to kill more than one thing here. Is it just me or that door open itself? I don't see anything in here. Oh well. God, I hear lots of monsters in the water. Follow the hallway all the way around. Okay, once it starts going south... Oh, I can cross into that central area there. Alright. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around here first. Not really... don't really have to, but... I kind of am, so... Hold on a sec. Am I even going the right way? Apparently I kind of am. Oh, there's something in the water. There's like an entrance in the wall. Oh, wow, that's a lot of drags or whatever they're called. Okay, supposedly there's some place I can jump in in here. And then have a little entrance. I suspect it's down there. I suspect I'm going to have to fight those. So let me, let me save the game and fight them.
So during that minor minor excursion, I've learned that uh, those water things are something I really don't want to face. But I did manage to kill a couple of them. And then one stuck in the ground. So I'm supposed to go into a, a central area. It's kind of like a little underground, little underwater path. Ah, I see it. I see it. Kind of swim under here. And then very quickly get over there. Except, oh fuck, I'm, I'm fucked. Hold on. Come on, I gotta get up above the water. I gotta get up above the water. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Yeah, I'm drowned. I've done this exact kind of navigation before. And I basically just have to sprint to get over here and get my head above water ASAP and then I can worry about the rest later. There we go. Now I'm not drowning. Now I can worry about this slaughterfish. Such a good thing to get them off of my eardrums. Man, those things are rough. Alright, now according to this map, I, I got to get out here somewhere. Maybe I can climb. Oh, crap. Maybe I can get stuck. Alright, hold on. I'm going to save the game and then i figure out how to get out. Alright, come on, come on, get me up. Or maybe I can get underneath this. Oh, crap, I can't get off the wall now. No! Alright, Alt F11 did the trick. I just gotta get into the, into the shallow water, then I can hop up. I gotta get to the east side of this chamber. Can't get out of the water. There's the door I gotta get to th get through. I just gotta figure out how to get out of the water. Climbing out of waist high water, such difficulty. There we go. I just gotta hack this door down. Ah, one hit. And then it says, follow the stairs up and go east to find a small opening in the wall. I am up and I am east. Walk toward it and climb the bottom part of the wall until you stop, then jump to vault through the opening. That is a bass backwards way of doing this, but... And then jump? No, jump didn't work. Crouching? Crouching didn't work. Jumping? 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 God damn it! It's not letting me through! I was robbed! I was lied to! Is there, other, is there another way to go over there? I'm betting there's not. Yeah, there isn't another way to go over there. God damn it. I'll get through this wall. Just give me a sec.
Well, that's not exactly what I was looking to do. I'm on the roof. And now I'm back on the other side. <sighs> Worst directions ever. Oh, now it works. God damn it. <clears throat> Don't even know if I'm supposed to be in here, but I gotta kill this just to get it from screaming in my ear. Alright. Let's see. Go up the stairs and then head west through the door at the end of the hallway. Up the stairs. And then head west. Hold on. I gotta rest soon, too. Oh, look, a magic shirt. And all kinds of magic items in this run. Mostly clothes, but, uh. And this is west. That's, I guess. This looks nothing like what I was supposed to be looking at. And of course there are enemies nearby. God damn. Oh, it continues upwards. All right. All right. Then um This is the door I need to be through. All right, and you'll find yourself in some sort of meeting room. Go through the locked door to the south. All right. Yeah, and I, I will show, I will put the link to uh, to the walkthrough of this in the description because I, I can already tell I would never have found this place. It would have taken me three, four hours to find my way through all the shit, especially with that with that fucking window room. God. Still can't rest. Alright, follow the hallway further south. And turn east at the intersection. Boom! Oh, there's a, a lamp. Go past the door and turn south. I really need to rest, but there's enemies nearby. Ah, there's an enemy. Maybe if I kill him, I can rest. Got my fatigue. I do not want to fall asleep while I'm fighting. Not so much fall asleep as pass out and get owned. Still enemies near. Ah. ah, here we go. I just had to go down a step or two. Oh, wow, look at all those upgrades. I'm skilling up left and right. Alright, head further south. I'm looking at this map right now, and I am just shaking my head. I think I've gone down the wrong corridor. Yeah, I have definitely gone down the wrong corridor. Hold on. Let's see. And I go south. Alright, and then down the stairs. And then left. And then another left. And then north. Go through the door at the end. Another left. Down more stairs. Down more stairs. Should be going north. And supposedly there's the painting in this room. Yeah. Tell me how I was supposed to find my way in here from where I was. There was no way. I would have been there for days. Like, literally, real-time days. Lots of stuff to probably fight in here, but I'm going to... Oh, crap. There is all kinds of shit in here, isn't there? Oh, crap. I'm getting shot. So I'm... Oh. Ow. God damn. No, 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 no. Give me the fucking painting. Carrying too much to lift this. No! What the fuck, man? Oh, fuck. How much do I have to have open to, to carry that? Let me kill this archer real quick. 
Let me uh, get myself regenerating. Burning spark. This is not the archer. Okay, why can't I I, I, I have no idea how, how, how much I have to have open to get that painting up. What am I supposed to drop? Ah, shit. Am I just supposed to drop gold until I can lift it? Take the painting after s dispatching the knights, but look at it this way. I, I've got the painting here, I just need to uh, clear some space. Let's look at my potion inventory. Restore power does next to nothing, so I'm dropping that. I've got a few resist potions that I... a few too many resist potions. Yeah, I don't need Restore Power. It hardly does anything. Don't need Resist Poison. Now let's try. Yes, I got it. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Recall. Teleport. Let's get out. And head back to Sentinel. I'll see you there. Now here is the painting. Honor to Brown, Thicket, and Hearthfire. And when you use it, it actually shows you what you see. The scene in the painting shifts and twists. You can clearly see the inside of a tent. Several men in the livery of Wayrest are intensely debating with a man bearing the coat of arms of Daggerfall. One of the Wayrest men slips behind the Daggerfall man, draws a dagger, and casually slides it between his ribs. The image fades as the life ebbs from his body. So it looks like a Daggerfall individual was slain by someone from the court of Wayrest. That does not bode well for whatever happened between the two countries. I need to get back to Sentinel during the day. So here I am in Sentinel. Time to turn this in. Oh shit, I hear people opening doors. But nobody's attacking. I get, I get paranoid every time I go into a castle anymore. Expect to be jumped. Okay, there's the Herald telling me where to go. So here I am in the presence of the Queen. Let me go ahead and turn this in. Do you attempt? Did you attempt to use the painting? Yes. Here is your 803 gold. You presume much, RPG Crawler. What you saw is not for the prying eyes of the masses. It concerns matters of royalty and will be dealt with by royalty. So I've got my money. And there's a quest. So what do I do now? Um, let's see what I have in terms of un unsolved quests. I guess what I have to do now is go to the court of Daggerfall and start uh, building up a reputation with them. I hope I haven't screwed myself too bad by meddling with the affairs of their apparent enemies. But I do have an in because the Princess of uh, the Princess of Sentinel is now Queen of Daggerfall. So now that I've gone ahead and done all that, it's time to journey to Daggerfall. Maybe spend some of that 
gold that I've gathered up. It takes a week to sail across the bay. Big ass bay. Alright. Finally, in the namesake of the game, Daggerfall. I'm going to use this as my base of operations for a little bit, so, uh. uh we got guilds. Let's locate the Mage's Guild. And then, um. I'll find the rest. Uh, let's locate the castle. It's got to be a pretty obvious castle around here somewhere. There we go, at the north end. That's a nicely laid out little city. Alright, well I'll see you at the castle. See, now this looks like a proper street. In, I, I mean, out of all the random generated, randomly generated things, this is the one that looks kind of realistic, so... It's like a reflecting pool. Yeah, there's water there. And here is Castle Daggerfall. All are free to petition His Highness at this time. Do not stray from the audience chamber lest ye have a royal blessing to do so. Always speak politely to the king and queen, and above all, cast no spells while within these walls. Do you agree with these terms? Yes. Okay, this is a very different interface from the uh, rest of it. It's like almost more arena, and I have to wonder if they didn't program it um, before they settled on dialogue options for the rest of it. It's like a... Something they put in and then never changed. Alright. Well this... Let's take a look around the court first. This is Queen Abuki. And that was the Sentinel Princess. She does not look like a Red Guard. This is King Guthrie. Lord Bridewell. A guard. Uh, more guards. So I was supposed to get in with the... Uh, Court of Daggerfall. Um, I'm assuming I shouldn't go directly up to the Royals first. Um, let's build our our reputation with the lesser nobles. There's Lady Bridwell. There's a shady individual in the corner. And entertainers. Okay. So you've got a pretty typical medieval court. Let's talk to her first. Do not mind doing quests for her. Apparently she doesn't have any quests. Alright, how about this shady fellow in the corner? I despise your kind. Just go away. Alright, well I guess that settles that. Um, who else is around that could possibly have quests for me? She does not have quests. What about him? Nope. Um, let's see about him. I could use the services of someone of moderate talent, above average discretion, and willingness to assume the position of a lowly courier for 442 gold. Are you that person? Sure. Excellent. Here's the Claymore now. And Dictor Wixley needs to have it in the Lamley Field in ten days. That ought to be just enough time, I hope. You will recognize And Dictor Wixley. Just look for a well-to-do merchant. Good luck and thank you. So it's a uh, messenger quest, but hopefully it'll give me the reputation I need. Lamley Field. At some point I need to drop off all the little random shit that I'm carrying around. I'll make a deposit in the bank before I go and run that quest. Right as I leave the uh, the palace, I get this. A young courier dryly hands you a letter and then stalks off without saying a word. Let's see what that letter is. 
Dear RPG Crawler, Queen Akarithi of Sentinel spoke highly of you as a brave, capable, a brave, able, and unprejudiced Breton. Her actual words were a hero. For some time, we have been looking for someone like that. I will not lie to you about our loyalties. We serve the Underking. If you are a believer in fairy tales and consider the Underking the ultimate force of evil, we apologize for misjudging you. Otherwise, we need your help. You can find me at the Greenford residence of Zag Zagumba Calm in Sentinel. I will wait one month. One month? Oh well. That's plenty of time. Let me run this quest first to Lamley Failed, and then I'll head to wherever it is in Sentinel. Alright, I'm in Lamley Field, but it's night time, so I gotta find an inn. Here we go. It says one of those small towns, so very little to interrupt my progress. I'll just find a, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he's in here. Hey, what do you know? Ah, good to see you, RPG, and the Claymore, too. Excellent. Here's the 442 gold pieces I believe you were promised by Mobar. I think that completes that quest. Hey, what a coincidence. He was in the only inn in town. Let's go to, uh, well, let me make sure that's off my, uh, log now. Yeah. Let's go to Sentinel to find out, uh, find out what I'm, I'm being told to do. I don't really want to do anything for the Underking, though. Um, let's see. Zagumba Calm. Thank God, there's only one place named Zagumba. Alright, so I'm about a week into that deadline. There are no inns in town. Interesting. Unless one of these is just mislabeled. Like it could be an inn and a store. Where's the door? I know it's a building. Does it have no doors? Oh, there we go. There's a door at the edge. I guess I just kind of have to hang out until, uh, sun up. Oh, it'll be at a residence anyway, not an inn. So I just gotta find some people. Come on. I gotta wait for another... Jesus Christ, another six hours. Kind of hanging out with the camels, wishing this town had an inn. Be on a first name basis with those fucking camels. That's a cloth. It doesn't have an inn, but it does have a clothing store. What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah, let me talk to one of these individuals. Yo, what's up? Uh, he doesn't know. There's only so many buildings in town. I could just look, but... I'd rather talk to one of these few people here. Alright, on my map. And it's right there, so awesome. Now I just gotta find the person that sent for me. Wherever they may be hiding. What the hell? Is there supposed to be a door there? Or is it a, the world's smallest closet? And that's who I'm supposed to look for. Okay. Good day, RPG. My name is Nerdy. I must admit that I am surprised to see you. Are you perhaps able to help the Underking in an endeavor against the Necromancers? We will reward you liberally for this service and provide information you'll probably not be able to find elsewhere. 
against the necrom but I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, help the necromancers ah what do I do if I say no will it fuck me over you will hmm remarkable the necromancers have taken an item of ours a priest robes of some value the value is of secondary concern. The true problem is that they cursed this item and gave it to the Blades. If you are unaware, the Blades were once the honor guard for Tiber Septum. Today they are loyal to the Empire and Tiber's code, but not always to the current Emperor. The Under King has reason to not wish harm upon the Blades. We want you to infiltrate Castle Lugwitch in uh, Yekalon and remove, this priest, remove the priest robes. Please have this done in 62 days if you want your information and rewards. So it's finally to one of these secondary provinces. I mean, aside from the Necromancer uh, stronghold. So, you know, I've been uh, tooling around for a while. So we'll, we'll we'll hit that next time. Uh, for now, this has been the RPG Crawler with The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more playthroughs of this game and others. Until next time, take care, and goodbye.